And with the release of today's report, we have an even clearer picture of the timeline, exactly what happened and when. And with this new information, Andrea Lucia now takes us through what happened as we know it, minute by minute. At 11.28 a.m., the gunman crashes the pickup he stole from his grandmother into a ditch behind Robb Elementary. Two men at a nearby funeral home walk toward the crash, but turn around and run after he starts shooting at them. Seconds later, Uvalde Police Dispatch received the first 911 call from the funeral home about a man with a gun. The attacker, in the meantime, jumps a five-foot fence around the school and continues firing shots. A coach standing outside uses her radio to notify the school office. At 11.32, teachers receive a lockdown alert and begin taking shelter with students in their classrooms. At the same time, the shooter enters through an unlocked door on the west side of the school. At 11.33, he's seen on surveillance video firing into classrooms. Over the next two and a half minutes, he rapidly fires over a hundred rounds into two adjoining classrooms. You can hear the gunfire as the first officers run into the hallway at 11.36. At 11.37, video shows officers from both the Uvalde Police Department and the Uvalde CISD Police Department, including its chief, Pete Arredondo, converging in the hallway. Shots are fired from inside the classroom. Cover them, cover them. Watch. Go, go, run, run over there. At 11.42 a.m., officers begin breaking windows to evacuate students from other classrooms. The victims trapped in classroom 111 and 112 were waiting to be rescued at 11.44 a.m., approximately 10 minutes after officers first arrived, when the subject fired another shot inside the classrooms. They were still waiting at 11.56 a.m. when an officer on the scene told law enforcement leaders that his wife, a teacher, was inside room 111 and 112 and had been shot. They were still waiting as broadcasts went out on officer radios that a student trapped inside rooms 111 and had called 911. At 12.16, Chief Arredondo was captured on camera asking for a key to get into the classroom. At 12.26, Arredondo says people are going to ask why we're taking so long and references ongoing evacuations, saying they're trying to take care of the rest of the lives first. At 12.29 p.m., officers with the Border Patrol's tactical unit arrive on the scene. At 12.50, an hour and 13 minutes after police arrived in the hallway, a team of officers opened the door to the classroom and killed the shooter.